Well, hello everyone and welcome back. We are working our way through this series of tutorials on Dreamweaver, uh, Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. Uh, we've got our website pretty far along here and we've just been working on adding content to it. <clears throat> now in this tutorial what I want to talk about is uh, adding a calendar to your page, something very valuable in uh, on a classroom website. Lots and lots of parents love to be able to see an up-to-date and accurate calendar for what's happening in the classroom or what ha dates they need to be aware of. So, um, of course, I've got my I've got my calendar page up here, the one I've designated for my calendar to go on. Now, of course, I could always come every time I had an event or I wanted to make a change or, or update the schedule. Um, I could come to this calendar page that I'm on now, and you know, create a you know a table with seven columns and five or six rows and put cells in and put events in and um, and then every time I wanted to add an event or change an event I gotta come to Dreamweaver put the event in save the page upload it to the web server uh, which is fine that works but it's kind of a lot of work to, to do that and I I may not always be at the computer that has Dreamweaver on it and has my that I've been uh, that computer might be at work it might be at home so instead of doing that, I'm going to suggest we use an online calendar tool uh, to handle this for for us. And here's kind of why. Um, because if I've got an online calendar, then I can access that calendar via any computer. So if I need to make an, a, a change to an event or add an event and I'm at home or I'm in the computer lab or I'm somewhere else in school, um, I can just put it in, get it done, and I don't have to worry about going back to the computer that I've been using f to do my website. And I'm going to I'm going to kind of go through the process of adding a Google Calendar to your page, okay, or to your website. So that's what I want to have show up right here, right here where it's I've typed in Google our calendar goes here. I'm going to create a calendar using Google's free calendar uh, tool, and then I'm going to have it show up right here on my page. But I'm going to do all the work in Google, and anytime I need to add an event or change an event. I just need to log into my Google account. All I need is an internet connection. I can make the change there, and it will just automatically show up here on my page. Because in reality, there was only going to be one calendar. It can just show up in multiple places. Um, just sort of what how Google has it set up, which is very convenient for us. Okay. So first thing I got to do, I got to go to go over to Google. Um, now, if let me just. Uh, get back here to what it might look like if, if you were to come to Google. So if you have a Google, a Google account, um, then you just log in and you come to this More menu, come down to Calendar. If it doesn't show up there, you can go to Even More and it show, will always show up on this list there under Calendar. Now if you do not have a Google account, well this might be a good reason to get one. Um, and up in the upper right hand corner over here, Right now I'm logged in, so it says sign out, but if I wasn't logged in, there would be a little sign in button there. You click on that, and on that page that comes up, down the right-hand side, there's a place for you to um, sign up for a Google account, and it's free. Okay, so when you sign up for Google account, by default, you get one calendar with your name on it. Um, okay, so that's, that's set up automatically, and I, I've kind of used it for my work schedule. I'm going to click off that to turn it off. So you get that one automatically, but you can make as many more calendars as you want. Okay, And you can see I can turn all of them on at the same time if I wanted to. I usually don't because there's too much stuff here. You can see that um, if I turn all these on, I've got a lot of calendars uh, sort of hooked up our department calendar, our vehicle calendar in our department, plus my personal and home calendar, oh, lots of stuff here. Um, I'm going to turn all that stuff off. So I can turn all these calendars off and just see the calendars that I want to. So right now, I don't want to see a calendar. I want to make a new calendar just for my classroom. Okay. So over here uh, in this calendar box, you can see there's a button that says Create. And I'll just put a little name in here. So this is going to be, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to title it my Classroom Calendar Okay, uh, for my classroom. And I might even put a description in there if I needed one, probably don't. Uh, leave the location blank, that doesn't matter. Set a time zone here, mountain time is good if it's not set to mountain time. Um, the other thing I need to do is I need to make this calendar public. right? So these, by default, these calendars that you create are private, meaning you have to log in to see them. And all those other calendars over there, I do want them to be private because I'm just using them to keep track of my own stuff. Um, but 
this one I'm creating now, I'm going to use this for my fifth grade um, classroom, and it's a calendar that I want to share. I want other people to be able to see. So I'm going to click on that checkbox there to make it public. <clears throat> All right, oops, I want to leave that checked. Um, another setting down here, it says share with spe specific people. So uh, so I could have a private calendar, and I could share it with just my family, and they could, they could see it. Um, all I have to do is put in email addresses here, a person's email address, and then I can tell what kind of access they have to this. Um, this is also could be a good thing, maybe you're team teaching with another teacher or part of a teaching team or a grade level team. Uh, I could, we could create one calendar um, and share it among our department or our group and everybody could make changes or add events to it. So I'd put their email address in here one at a time and say I want them to be able to make changes to events. So they would be able to put events on the page. Um, and I could have three, I could just add three or four email addresses. What that does is um, when I do that it sends them an email and they set up their own password. They have to have a Google account so they would set up their own Google account and then this calendar that we're making here would show up in their account. It would also show up in my account. If I made a change they would see the change in their account. If they made a change I would see it in my account because again there really is only one calendar and we're just being able, we have both people or all, the whole team would have access to it. Um, then it also is going to show up on my website or on the department website or on the grade website. Okay, with just that much done, I'm going to scroll down a little farther here and create the calendar. Okay, yeah, I want it to be public. Okay, so I can see over there, over here I can see my, I've got this classroom calendar now, and it's highlight, it's got its background color highlighted, that means I'm viewing the calendar, and I'm just going to add a couple of events, like um, maybe every Monday um, we have uh, Reader's Theater and I want that to repeat and I want it repeat weekly so that just means every Monday it's gonna show up readers theater and I could put more of a description there if I wanted to I'm just putting the event I'm gonna save that and you'll see um, it's popped up every week if I go to the next week it's already there back to this week um, do that so I can you know depending on how you like to do a calendar you know some teachers will put almost every event like I'm gonna say okay recess happens at, um, if I could type, so recess, um, I want it to be really, it happens at 10.30 and it only goes to 11 maybe and I want it to repeat every single day, maybe I just want it weekly Monday through Friday, that's what I want, and go down and save, and you'll see that'll pop up, so now I've got recess on there every day. Um, other things, I'm going to put, um, some stuff for today. Maybe we're going on a field trip this afternoon. So, oops, click inside here. Field trip. Uh, how about to the Nutcracker? Okay, and event details. It doesn't repeat. It's from one. We're going to go from one. We're not going to be back to 2 30. And at Capitol Theater, and I could put more info description down here if I wanted to. Maybe I need some parent volunteers. I could put that information there and save that. And then I decide, oh, it's a little bit longer from 1 to 2.30. I'm going to stretch that out. Maybe I want it to go until 3.30. Um, so you can see pretty easy to add events uh, that shows up, that show up, and I can put as much detail as I want on these events. Uh, so with that, you can see it's pretty easy to, I mean, it works just like a regular calendar, uh, digital calendar. Um, and so this is working fine. Now what I want to do is I want to get this calendar, instead of having to link to it and have my, my visitors come here, I want this calendar to show up inside of my website on my page. Um, and Google makes that possible for us. So I'm going to come over here to where I can see my calendars. And I'm going to select this little chiclet, chiclet like button on the right end of the one I want to share click on that and I'm going to go to calendar settings okay and down here under calendar settings I'm going to scroll down a little bit <clears throat> and there's a section called embed this calendar that's what I want to do that means take this calendar and have it show up on another page it's still the same calendar it's just sort of getting sucked down there um, I'm just going to grab this this text that's down here this code 
Now there's a customize option here that I could go in and customize some sizes and colors and a few other things. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to get all this code selected. So highlight all of that. Copy that. So I just did Control C. If you're on a Mac, it's a Command C. You can always right click it and do copy. If you're on a Mac, you got to do Control click to get that menu. So anyway, you copy that, get it copied, and I'm going to switch back to Dreamweaver here. All right, so I've on, I'm on this page. Now, since I copied that, I want to paste it. Now, the part here that can be a, a little tricky is I copied some HTML code. When I come back to Dreamweaver, I need to paste it in, into the HTML code. Okay, so, so an easy mistake to make is to come down here in the design view area and paste it down here. And you can see the code, but Dreamweaver just thinks that's text. It's not going to display the calendar. That code's not going to happen. So if you, if you see the code show up like that, that is not going to work. So what I need to do is I need to paste it up in the code. And sometimes it's hard to find where the right place to paste it is. Um, so if I just highlight this text or, or whatever's in this area, I'm going to highlight that, and I look up in the code, it highlights it in the code for me. It makes it a little bit easier to find. So I want to put it right here where this text is. Okay, so I'm gonna, I don't need that text anymore, so I can highlight it and push delete up there. But my cursor is now right in the spot where I want it, and now I'm going to do paste. And the code shows up there, up in the code where it's supposed to be. And when I click back down here on the design view, I don't see the code, I just see this big gray box. Okay, which means Dreamweaver knows there's supposed to be something here, um, so it's kind of making space for it. Now, the calendar is not going to show up inside of Dreamweaver. I actually have to preview in the browser um, to have it show up. So I'm going to click preview here. Preview in Firefox will be fine. Uh, my page shows up. And there is the calendar showing up with those events that I had put in. And if I went back to, and there's today right there. So let me just demonstrate how this might work. If I went to um, back to Google right now, um, back to where I was logged into my calendar. Where did that go? Okay, there it is. So I went back to my calendar and I said, gosh, I want to add um, another event here for next week. So maybe next Monday, um, lunch with the principal. Okay. So I add an event to my calendar here. And what I want to show you is that event is going to just show up automatically here. Um, on my page. There it is, lunch with the principal. And if I click on it, you can see I get more details and I can see all the, the content there. This field trip, I click on that, I can see all the details. There's where. And uh, if I put an address in here, this is kind of cool. If I put an address here under, you know, an actual street address, um, Google would be able to show me a map. Now, I clicked on that, it's probably not going to show me the right one. Um, yeah, there's the Capitol Theater in Germany. Um, but you get the idea. Um, if I put a Salt Lake address, that would show right up. So without too much trouble, I've got this calendar showing up right on my website, and I can edit it just right through Google, and that'll the events will get updated automatically here, which is a nice way to do it. Um, it's a little bit too wide for my layout, so I might have to make some adjustments here on my layout so this whole calendar shows up. You can see it's pushed out the side here. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. Um, but that's more of a, a layout thing. The other thing you can see up here at the top, I, the way that this has come in, it gives my visitor a way to decide how they want to see it. So the default was the month view. I can click on the week. Now they can see the week view. And if they want to see an agenda view, it just shows the dates and the dates that have um, activities on there. So pretty nice uh, little calendar tool, kind of fun to use. Um, one other tool down here at the bottom, just while we wrap this one up, at the bottom of the calendar there's a button down here that says Google Calendar plus Google Calendar or add Google Calendar. So if you have a parent that is using Google Calendar themselves, if they click that little this little button that I'm hovering over now, it will add your calendar to their lists of calendars. So they're basically subscribing to your calendar. So inside their Google account, they will see this calendar. And so they could overlay it with their own events so they could sort of see, match things up. They can't edit it, of course, or do anything. They just have it show up inside their Google calendar. Um, and that's what we do in our office with our, um, with our uh, car schedule. 
one person can edit the car schedule, um, but I can overlay it on my other events to see to see that schedule. So kind of a nice tool. Uh, and that is how you get a Google Calendar to show up on your own web page uh, inside of Dreamweaver. Thanks for watching.